we still interested in the voltage current relationship for the NMOS transistor and so far we said that if you apply VGS higher than the threshold voltage you create a channel and we said that if you apply small VDS then the current will flow through the channel from the drain to the source linearly proportional to VDS now what we are interested in is the voltage current relationship or the IV relationship in the saturation region so in order for us to do that let us show you the 2D layout of the transistor first and then we go on to create a channel by applying VGS so here is the channel so we applied VGS and here is the channel created now if VDS increased then the thickness of the channel at the drain side will decrease until eventually it becomes zero so we go on to increase VDS right so what we said is we go on to increase VDS by increasing VDS the thickness of the channel at the drain side will decrease so let's show you that through the animation here you start to see that the thickness of the channel is decreasing because we are increasing VDS once the thickness becomes zero at this point the concentration gradient across the channel is maximum right it is the derivative with respect to distance we call that a gradient so the concentration gradient means the derivative the rate of change of the concentration with respect to the length of the channel so you start to see that the gradient across the channel is maximum and that occurs when VDS equals to VGS minus the threshold voltage when VDS equals to VGS minus threshold voltage that means the effective voltage equals to VDS we have depleted all of the free electrons at the drain side basically what it says is we kept increasing VDS that means the drain current is consuming these free electrons at the drain until eventually all of these electrons are used at this point when VDS equals to VGS minus the threshold voltage the channel is called pinched off in the ideal case ideally in the ideal world if VDS increases the channel stays remains pinched off because we have used all of the free electrons at the drain side then the current is maximum nothing happens to the current it is saturated by increasing VDS above VGS minus the threshold voltage the effect of the channel is similar to the bench of condition right because I have used all of the free electrons at that condition even if I increased VDS above that the transistor thinks that VDS is VGS minus the threshold voltage if I substitute for VDS equals to VGS minus the threshold voltage in the current equation I end up with the current equation in the saturation region which is ID equals to one half mu n cox w over l times vgs minus the threshold voltage squared so all what we did we substituted for vds to equal to vgs minus the threshold voltage because we have used all of the free electrons at the drain side at that point and if i increase vds anymore i cannot increase the current because i have used all the free electrons at the drain side that is interesting so let us show you what happens to the voltage current relationship on the graph so we go on to plot VDS versus ID so here is the VDS axis and here is the ID axis and let's start with one VGS so we say that we're gonna select one VGS above the threshold voltage that means the transistor is conducting and by increasing VDS from zero we start with the linear region until VGS equals to VGS minus the threshold voltage if I increase VDS more if I increase the voltage at the drain even more then I reach saturation the current will stay flat 
nothing will happen to the current so you end up with this curve for VGS1 now let us select another VGS that is bigger than VGS1 and we go on to change VDS so we can see that the current will be higher because VGS is bigger because the channel is stronger that means the resistivity of the channel is smaller that means for the same VDS I get higher current in the triad region until I reach saturation once I reach saturation the current stays flat so you start to see that you have a higher current for higher VGS and so forth so if I increase VGS for the third time I get the same thing and VGS for the fourth time I get the same thing so now this is the voltage current relationship graphically for different VGS by changing VGS I get more current of the transistor here is the triad region it's linear and here is the saturation region designers avoid the bench off region because you can flip between the triode and the saturation region and that causes problems right so we try to avoid that when we do the design we either like to be somewhere in the saturation region or somewhere in the triode in the early triad region and the analog word we're going to use the transistor as a resistor or we're going to use it as an amplifier you can use it as a switch as well and that is for other applications in digital circuits and some analog circuits such as power supply and chop and the signals you can use it as a switch as well but for now in the analog CMOS design most of the time we're going to either use it as a variable resistor or as an amplifier it's going to be either in the triad region or you're going to be in the saturation region in some other cases we can also use it as a capacitor and it is well documented in the literature as well remember that this is the case in the ideal world but what happens is actually by increasing VDS other things happen to the channel 